Ah. Sophie, you're in perfect health. Mm. Have you been getting 10 hours of sleep and eating lots of seaweed? Yeah, and I swim a lot, too. That's great. Mm -hmm. You need to take good care of your very special body. My body is special? It sure is, oh. for lots of reasons. But for one thing, when you get older, your body is designed to grow a brand new little baby mermaid inside your tummy. Oh. Dr. Olson, how come you know so much about babies? I've taken care of a lot of unborn babies and their pregnant mothers. What's pregnant? Is that a disease? Oh. No, pregnant is a good thing. Oh. It's when God puts a brand new little person inside a mommy's tummy. Oh, wow. Well, how come you gotta take care of them? Well, when the baby starts out, he's very little and it's easy for him to get hurt. Oh, oh. like how? Well, like eating the wrong kinds of food, like mm. junk food, hot dogs, mm. shellfish. Oh, 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 shellfish? Well, what's the mom supposed to eat? Oh, healthy things like avocados, no. sweet potatoes, uh, eggs. Oh, I don't like eggs. Mm -mm. Well, look at this. Hmm. When an unborn baby starts out, it's about the size of the point on this pin. Oh. Ah! Ah! Mm. Are you okay, Sophie? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's a real person with a soul, but his body hasn't fully formed yet. So it's important that the mother eat the right things so his body can grow right. Oh, well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, what else can hurt the baby? Well, smoking cigarettes can damage the baby's lungs and his brain. Yeah, people shouldn't smoke anyway. It's bad for everybody. That's right. And some exercises can be bad for the baby, like lifting weights or heavy objects. Hey, we can get Frank to lift the heavy stuff. He's really strong. He sure is. Mm -hmm. And a pregnant mother should never play a game where a ball or another player might run into her tummy. That would hurt the baby. Wow, that baby's really delicate. He sure is. Mm -hmm. The pregnant mother can't even take certain kinds of medicines because they would hurt the baby. <sighs> wow, being pregnant sounds really hard. It's one of the most wonderful and exciting things a woman can do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but how's the mother supposed to be happy when she's got to give up all that stuff? Putting the baby's needs in front of her own needs is a different kind of happiness. It's a better and deeper kind of happiness. Mm. It's the kind of happiness that God wants us to have. Okay, but how much does she have to give up? Well, have you heard the story of Jana Beretta Mola? Mm, no, who's she? She's a real doctor, just like I am. When she was pregnant with her fourth child, she became very sick. <gasps> the doctors told her that she would die unless <gasps> they took her baby out. But the baby wasn't old enough to be born yet. Uh, no. That would have made the baby die. So Gianna said no. Good. She told the doctors that her baby's life was just as important as her own. Mm -hmm. After a little girl was born safely, the doctors tried to save Gianna, but it was too late. Uh -huh. She died saving her little daughter's life. Wow, that's a lot of love! Mm. It sure is, but we all have to give something up. Mm. Your own mother had to give up seaweed when she was pregnant with you. She did? Yep, seaweed made her feel sick. Oh, wow. Mm. Well, Sophie, mm -hmm. it's time for you to go. Oh. My next patient is coming in soon. I'll see you again, right? Okay, thanks, Dr. Olson. Uh, by the way, who's your next patient? I don't know. The nurse said something about some guy getting a bunch of long red hair stuck to him at the beach, and he can't get it off. Uh-oh. Uh oh, I gotta go now, doctor. Thanks a lot. Bye! Oh! Hey, doc! Oh, look down there. I see some good comments. Sophie is the smartest, most wonderful person.